Welcome to Hat Tips with Horns Gold. Today I'll talk a bit about how to stretch your hat and why this is really something you should avoid if you can. Stretching a hat can be tricky and if you're not being very careful there's a big chance that you'll actually end up ruining the hat. In general I think you should avoid stretching hats so my main piece of advice in this video will be to order a hat in the right size. Now if you don't know your hat size you can order our free size kit that includes everything you need to take a precise measurement and imprint of your head shape at home. If you think you're in between sizes, always go with the larger size. It's very easy to make micro adjustments to a hat to make it slightly smaller. If you have a hat, however, that is slightly too tight, there are a few things you can try. An old cowboy trick would be to put your knee inside the hat and then pull on it to try and stretch it. And this is definitely something you can do if you have a cheap hat that you don't mind ruining. Otherwise, I think your best option is to get a hat jack or a hat stretcher. These typically come in different sizes and depending on your hat size and head shape, it's pretty important which size you choose. If your goal is to stretch the hat overall, you should get a hat stretcher in your size. But if your hat is tight in the front and you have room on the sides, then you're what we call a long oval. And then your goal is not to stretch the hat, but rather change the oval shape inside the hat. In that case, you should get a hat stretcher in a smaller size because when it stretches, it becomes a long oval. But I think putting a proper long oval into a hat needs to be a topic for another video. Start by giving the hat a light steaming to warm up the felt. This can be done either using a steamer, a steam iron, or even just a tea kettle. You'll want to try and aim the steam at the hat band section of the hat. You should only steam the hat on the outside. Using steam on the inside of the hat will actually ruin the sweatband. You should also take a close look at the state of the sweatband inside the hat before doing this. If it's very dry, it's a good idea to give it some leather conditioner a few days before stretching. Once the hat is slightly warm, insert the hat stretcher and tighten it up. Leave the hat stretcher in the hat for half an hour or so, then try it on to see how it fits. It really pays off to be careful here. Rather repeat this a few times, stretching it ever so slightly each time, than trying to stretch the hat completely in one go. Now if you don't want to buy a hat stretcher, you can actually use your head instead. You just steam the hat the same way, then pull it down tightly over your head. You can even add a piece of cloth or leather between your forehead and the hat to stretch it a bit more. Now this was very basic and there's a lot more to this topic. So if you'd like to hear more about it, be sure to leave a like and a comment. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found it useful. I'll be back next week with another hat tip.